So in this video we're going to be going through new scripts and um, where it saves and what's some good good coding practice and also um, a new thing that you haven't learned called input input strings and so or like inputting other numbers or strings so it basically asks the user of the program to input something or to um, input a number maybe and then we'll um, we'll learn how to output um, just just normal strings to start strings are just uh, sentences by the way or a bunch of letters just in quotation marks okay so for a new script um, if you have this editor up here it's quite useful you just drag it down to make it a bit bigger and you can click new there if you don't have that then I'll pull this away you can go up here and click new and it'll pop up in there or if I get rid of this editor altogether click new and then it'll pop up there it, it might not be docked or something like that so it might be out here just to dock it um, put it in your command window you just click that down button so that's a, a new script here and so the benefit of the script is like for example if we want to do like we want to sign x equals 5, y equals 6, z equals 7 we have to go x equals um, 5 and then hit enter and then it would be assigned up there and then we'd have to do y equals 6 and then hit enter and then it'd be assigned and then uh, z equals 7 and it'd be assigned so what we can actually do is um, we can go up here and just do like var variable 1 equals 6 variable 2 equals 12 and my number equals 5 so I'm gonna put semicolons after all of these and I'm gonna so at the moment in our workspace we have X Y and Z if I hit run it will ask me to save it and so we want to save it as variable underscore assignment so one good thing to remember is don't put spaces in your the names of your um, your scripts here when you save them. It's just not a good idea. Sometimes it doesn't run, especially when we learn functions, you can't have spaces in your function um, file names. And so just good habit not if you're doing this if you want to put a space then put an underscore. Okay, so if we save that, it will run it and then you see just in this workspace it's just popped up with a whole bunch of our variables that we assigned there. So I'm gonna clear this up. So clear so now we have nothing in our workspace and if I run this script again I'll try and get it with the workspace in view yeah and so it um, just assigns all those variables there so that's really useful um, so next we're gonna do an input um, so user I'm gonna call this variable you can call it whatever but I'm gonna call it user input equals and then so this is the input function you do so we want to assign this um, this variable name to be whatever the user inputs so you write input bracket and then you write um, you do a single quotation mark and then you say please input a number and then I just like to do um, the semicolon after there or the colon after there and then space and then hit that and then close off the brackets and then you want to do the semicolon there. So I'm going to save this and then we're going to run it and then it says please input a number. So it just it puts out this and then look at our our workspace. We have no user input variable at the moment and so if we go down here and we go I'm going to make it equal to 34. So we hit enter and it goes and so this thing comes up the, the two arrows so it says that we've put in we've finished our code there so if we go up to our workspace it says user input equals 34 so if we have that there then that's just how to assign a variable by someone inputting something another version of this is so I'm going to just clear this up clear and CLC we can um, write in like a, a string or something like that please input how about we just change it to your name and so if we want to do like um, a, a, a name in here or something like that 
and we try and do that from this, it doesn't seem to work. So I'm gonna write hit enter, and it's just like undefined function of variable Stuart, blah 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 blah. So it's just saying it's not working, it won't assign it. And so up here, if we go up here, it hasn't um, assigned anything to our workspace yet. So I'm just gonna click a number to finish the program. Do CLC, do that. If we want to actually put a name, we have to do comma. And you know how I was talking about string before? So we have to put in in uh, quotes, single quotes, S, if we want it to be a string. So if I do save and then run, and now I can write, hit enter, and then you can see user input, it equals Stuart. So that's pretty much saving a string from there. One thing now we can do is we can also print out um, things like after this has been input properly, we can, you can do this thing called f print f, and you do bracket similar to the input thing, and you just write. It just says it's like thank you for inputting your name, and then if we we want to do, I'll do it without a new line. So essentially it will print this out after we've done the input so if we have a look I'll clear this out first hit go so please input your name it's waiting for, for an input it's going to be a name and it says thank you for inputting your name so now you see that the command line is on the same thing here we can change that you hit enter if you go down to the next but you can change that by going in here and doing backslash n so that just means new line so if I try this again please enter your name and then says thank you for inputting your name and then does a new line there so that's the basics for inputting numbers and then inputting strings and then also inputting um, or also printing out something on the screen like this or like this sorry